Hello, welcome to Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao. Now, the lack of quality in the Ghana Premier League has been identified as a major reason for the low patronage of the top flight league in the country. This was revealed in a survey conducted by Intra Sports and Joy Sports on the low turnout recorded at various stadia in recent seasons of the Ghana Premier League. Now, head of sports at Insure FM, Bismarck uh, Owusu Bempa, presented the findings of the survey at the mid year thought leadership event on the Ghana Premier League held at the Labadi Beach Hotel in Accra on Monday. Interestingly, majority of our respondents say the quality of our football is going down. And you can see by the graph, the quality of the Ghana Premier League, the quality of the Division One League, the quality of our coast football, the quality of every level of our football, people say are the number one reason why they are not attending games. Infrastructure comes too. Because they will say, look, we go to the stadium, we leave our homes, we leave our offices, comfort zone, and we want to be welcomed by our infrastructure that is welcoming in, 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 in its edifice. But we go to the stadiums and we don't really have an environment that is enabling for us to sit and we want to come back and sit and watch. So that is one for the NSA. The second factor is the infrastructure that welcomes football fans to the stadium. They say that is a very, very particular reason why they don't attend games anymore. Of course, the economic situation, how much you need to invest in transporting yourself from home, what you will eat, the price of the ticketing and all that um, comes third. Then the teams playing, their strategies to attract the fans is a very, very, um, the fourth reason why people don't really go to the stadium. Now, this come back to what Mr. Neil Armstrong was saying. The clubs themselves, as the major beneficiaries, of the gate process and the attraction to football seems to be not doing so much in terms of their media strategies, in terms of their support engagement strategies to get their own fans to come and watch their, their games. And that is well documented in the reasons why people say they are not going to the stadium. Now, the services at the various stadium have, have, have already enumerated that. Uh, the safety and the spectator behavior is among the reasons. The less time people do not have is also another reason. And the media, myself, has been criticized here that is among the reasons why they are not watching. No. Well, the chairman of the Ghana League Club Association, Kujo Fianu, while commending the multimedia group for the initiative, assured his outfit will adopt the findings of the survey and enlighten its members on them for subsequent implementation to improve partnering of the local league. By thanking the multimedia group for this giant step they've taken to actually uh, learn some tricks from our renowned doctor, Dr. Nyawanya Watamokulo, to diagnose exactly what is wrong with us and attempt to prescribe uh, the dosage yeah. that could help us come back into mainstream. And I want to pledge, as the chairman of the Ghana League Club Association, that on behalf of the clubs, we are not going to allow this report to gather dust. We're going to commit ourselves to it. GACA will have to adopt it and organize a series of engagements with our clubs our supporters, so that we can come back on track. Having said that, listening to the earlier speakers and also having the opportunity to have an insight to that uh, report, I want to say that if really you all take that report seriously, we will find an antidote to what is worrying our game vis-a-vis -vis, uh, spectatory. Well, meanwhile, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Vyusev, uh, charged the National Sports Authority to improve conditions at the various stadia to make them family-friendly while ensuring safety of spectators. He also charged the Ghana Football Association to reconsider timing of the games to fit the convenience of fans to increase patronage for the games. The National Sports Authority, entrusted with the care of our stadiums, I urge you to transform these venues into more more than the mere arenas for watching games. Let us create family-friendly spaces where parents can bring their families and children to engage in sports that we all love and also leisure activities. Safety must be a paramount and the stadium 
experience should be perceived as an exciting place for everyone. Premier League clubs, in your pursuit of attracting fans, consider innovative marketing strategy that resonates with the young generation, engaging the community and giving back through corporate social responsibility initiative can foster deeper connection with fans. To Ghana Football Association, the organizers of the league strive for fair and attractive competition that fans can be proud of. We must be conscious of global competition from the top league like the English Premier League and avoid features clashes. Take, taking into consideration our account of our climate and work schedule, we should aim to match time that are convenient and enjoyable to our football fans. Now, away from that, the National Youth Authority has moved to unearth talent in a so German constituency for the construction of an ultra modern astroturf. Joyce Falls Loris Beidou was there and he came through with this report. Contractors are expected to begin work immediately on the AstroTurf being built by the National Youth Authority for the residents of Isojaman in the eastern region. The over 5 million Ghana cities project, according to the National Youth Authority, will serve as the source for the development of several young sporting talent beyond just footballers. The short cutting for the project took place on Monday, July 31, with the project expected to be completed in the next four months. The ceremony saw the attendance of some government officials, traditional leaders, and members of the district at the St. Chi Methodist School Park. Speaking at the event to announce the project, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Youth Authority, Pius Enam Hajide, highlighted the need for the district to boast a sporting facility that will see the production of sportsmen and women. Important. It's an astro turf project that they have been looking forward to. They have made several calls upon the National Youth Authority. We have consulted with the chiefs, the assembly members, opinion leaders, and we believe that the community is owning the projects. From what you can see, it's clear that it is very, very important to them. Uh, Esujaman is noted for a number of sportsmen, uh, football, athletics, and a number of the sporting disciplines. However, there is no meaningful sports infrastructure in the entire district. And this is a modest beginning. We are giving them uh, an ultra-modern astroturf as a beginning, as a first step. So this is a very, very important project to the entire community. The source of funding is the National Youth Authority allocation of the District Assembly's Common Fund. That's how we are financed. Uh, we anticipate that within four months, the construction should be completed. The construction covers the football field itself, the inner perimeter fencing and floodlights. That enables uh, patrons of the facility to patronize it even in the night and in the evenings. So it is the, the, the AstroTurf playing field, perimeter fencing and floodlights. That's the scope of works. He also added that the members of the community would need to protect the facility as this when it's finished to avoid it being wasted. Well, the message for them in connection with the project is that this is their project. They should own it. They should use it. But they should take good care of it. We do not want a situation where we will waste the resources of state. How we use the facility, how we maintain it, is critical to how long the uh, project will survive. So it's important that even as they express joy and excitement at the project, we own the project and that we, are, we feel responsible for it and we take good care of it. Work on the project is expected to begin in two weeks' time with the contractor assuring that the facility will be completed in four months' time. Nanajan Odro Odapa, who is the Akwemu Asebuhine and Senchi Adontehine, pleaded with the contractor of the project to make use of the people in the community while adding that they will do their best to take care of the facility when completed. Pius Enam Hajide has already expressed his desire to represent the people of Isuyajaman in parliament.
Now, after six weeks of fierce community rivalry, the 2023 edition of the MTN Ashanti Fest Gala has crowned a champion, and it is Ijisu. Now, despite not starting as favorite, the community showed that, indeed, they are the historical home of the legendary Ya Santua, a highlight of the grand finale between Ijisu and Santasi at the Tufo Park in Dichemso. <laughs> Well, yeah, for beating the remaining 15 communities to the trophy, Ejisu took home some 20,000 Ghana cities and some goodies from MTN. But meanwhile, home side Dichemso settled for third place after losing three goals to one to Quadaso. <laughs>
banter we have for you on Prime Sports tonight with me, Rizak Musbao. Do have a lovely evening and up next is PM Express.